Hello fanciers. Welcome back to the Game Dog Caribbean channel. The content you experience here is fictional and for entertainment purposes only, something like a Harry Potter book, or the story of the Avatar, the last airbender and content of that nature. Please like, comment and share this video and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever new content is posted to this channel. For this episode we will recount the CCK total destruction hunting trials that took place just before the spring of 1923. This event was the largest card ever achieved in these parts at the time with 10 action packed hunts which reduced to 8 hunts after 2 teams couldn't make it. These badger hunts were an effort to place a control on the escalating wild pest population in the area at that time. The farmers and badger hunters had a very good working relationship and it culminated into events such as the one we will report on today. Day 1 Show Number 1 TATK's Butcher vs KPK's Black Mamba, Males, set at 47 pounds. Referee, IYK. For this hunt two prospects were hitting the trail and the KPK team was coming out after a very long hiatus. At the scale, TATK's Butcher, 47.2 pounds. KPK's Black Mamba, 46.2 pounds. Both hunters were within the contracted weight limit and made their way to the hunting trails. From the release, both hunters met their hog in the middle with Mamba shooting for the badger's front end and as Butcher began hitting up his badger on the head and neck. The hunt was fast and even for the first 15 minutes with both hounds showing good strength and ability. By the 20 minute mark Mamba was edging ahead on the trail while Butcher began hitting the mat. Mamba was steady driving into his boar's front end while Butcher was on his badger's head trying to stay out of trouble. At the 45 minute mark Mamba had established dominance on the hunt, hitting up his boar any place left open, while Butcher began hitting the mat more often. The out of hold count was achieved. By the hour mark Butcher continued hitting the mat more often and after a few scratches the TATK team threw in the towel. Winner. KPK's Black Mamba one-time winner in 1 hour and 20 minutes. Show number 2. BNSK's Zombie vs OLK's Taffy, Males, set at 44 pounds. Referee, KPK. For this hunt, the rivalry had been brewing for some time and it had become a well-anticipated event. The OLK team was yet to capture a ribbon after a few hunts without success but the BNSK club had successful out hunted a few local camps to date. At the scale, BNSK's Zombie, 43.8 pounds. OLK's Taffy, 43.6 pounds. Both camps met the weight requirement and the hunt was on. From the release, both hunters met their hog in the middle, wrestling for holds in the front end and on the head. Both hunters were showing good strength and ability on an even exchange. Zombie was hitting up his badger on the legs and paws, while Taffy was also on his boar's front end trying to establish dominance. Zombie's badger was able to get in on his front legs a few times but Zombie got him out by the muzzle each time. Taffy on the other hand was maintaining his front end attack with his badger getting him out by the muzzle and face. The hunters were showing good air and conditioning on the trail going down and recovering in short order each time but Taffy eventually edged ahead on the trail, he was on his feet more often and working holds. The hunt slowed down by the 40 minute mark and Zombie was beginning to fade. Zombie was laying in hold on his badger's muzzle while Taffy was on his feet and laying down with his badger's leg. The out of hold count was achieved close to the 2 hour mark. They completed a few scratches before Zombie was counted out before the 3 hour mark. Winner, OLK's Taffy, one time winner in 2 hours and 46 minutes. Show number 3. LODK's Blackman vs MK13's Auto, Males, set at 42.5 pounds. Referee, KPK. For this hunt, two new clubs were hitting the trail for the first time with two prospects to get the job done. The LODK team was bringing out one of their local Yellow Munga Tupac Rusty mixes, while the MK13 team traveled for 5 hours by car and speedboat to make it to the hunting grounds to show their old school buck wild disaster blend with a little twist on top. 
The event was running far behind schedule and after many hours waiting on site the prospects were hitting the trail well into the next day. At the scale, LODK's Blackman, 41.8 pounds. MK13's Auto, 41.4 pounds. Both hunters met the contracted weight and proceeded to the wild boar arena. From the release, Blackman met his badger just past the half mark on the trail while Otto was a little more calculated in making his first contact. Otto hit his badger in the shoulder and put it to the ground in short order as Blackman was wrestling with his boar on the side of its head on the other side of the trail. Otto maintained his inner shoulder attack while Blackman was still having trouble getting his badger out on the trail. Blackman regained his footing after getting some early front end damage and the hunt became even with Blackman trying to subdue his boar by the head and Otto steady shooting for his badger's throat with much resistance. At the 10 minute mark, Blackman was showing good speed and ability keeping his boar out on the head and side of face. Otto on the other side of the trail was busy trying to subdue his boar in the throat, he eventually began moving to the back end on occasion where there was less resistance. By the 20 minute mark, Blackman began hitting the mat, but he was still putting up a strong resistance on the side of his badger's face. Blackman also moved to his boar's back end pinning a back leg, throwing the badger off balance for a moment but Blackman was not able to maintain this hold. Otto on the other hand was beginning to hit his boar's throat and stifle with much more frequency and accuracy and going to the inner shoulder and legs on occasion, shaking viciously. By the 30 minute mark, Blackman was hitting the mat more often and protested as his badger was hitting him in the throat. Otto on the other side of the trail was going for the finish but his badger managed to spin out a few times while protesting. By the 40 minute mark, Blackman gave up on the hunt and was heading for the trail wall but his badger pulled him back in. Otto on the other hand was showing sheer dominance recovering like a machine and extending his lead on the hunt as his badger was protesting and trying to escape the hunting trail. At the 42 minute mark, the LODK team threw in the towel and prevented their hunter from jumping the barricade. Winner, MK13's auto one time winner in 42 minutes. Show number 4. CCK's CASA vs GK's Showtime, males, set at 38 pounds. Referee, IYK. The teams for this hunt were bringing two prospects to the trail. At the scale, CCK's CASA, 37.6 pounds. GK's Showtime, 36.2 pounds. Both hunters made the contracted weight and the hunt was on. From the release, both hunters met their hawks in the middle with CASA going for his badger's front end and shoulder as Showtime was going for his badger's chest and front end. The show started off fast and even with Casa showing good mouth and ability on the hunt while Showtime was showing strength and intent on the trail. By the 20 minute mark the catch dogs were heating up and the hunt slowed down. Casa moved to his badger's muzzle trying to keep him out while Showtime was still shooting for his badger's front end. Showtime began hitting the mat and Casa was establishing dominance with his boar. A turn was called on the Showtime dog and handles were achieved. Casa was causing more damage on the trail hitting up his boar in the front end and head as Showtime began defending and going out of hold more often. After completing one scratch each the GK team threw in the towel and the Showtime dog quit on the courtesy just before the hour mark. Winner, CCK's Casa one time winner in 48 minutes. Show number 5. DVDK's Chemo one time winner GIS vs LORK star, set at 38 pounds. Referee, IYK. For this hunt, DBD was brining back out their one-time winner GIS Chemo to try and capture his second ribbon. LORK on the other hand was bringing out a prospect to get the job done. At the scale, DBDK's Chemo, 37.4 pounds. LORK's Star, 36.0 pounds. Both hunters met the contracted weight and made their way to the trail. From the release, both hunters met their hog in the middle with Chemo shooting for the badger's front end while Star was off to a quick defense on his boar's head and side of face. Chemo was showing good strength and ability on the trail while Star was having a more difficult time getting his badger under control. Chemo continued driving for the front, 
striking the boar's chest and shoulder on occasion as Star maintained a heavy defense on the head and flipping his boar on occasion. There were some fast high ability exchanges with no turns are successful out of hold counts, but by the hour mark Star began to fade on the hunt while Kimo began hitting up his boar with much more consistency, getting into the inner shoulder guard and causing some damage. The LOR team threw in the towel just over the hour mark and Star attempted a very game courtesy scratch on the chest and nose. Winner, DVDK's Kimo in 1 hour and 20 minutes. Day 2. Show number 6. DVDK's Yo-Yo vs RABK's Prospect, Females, set at 30 pounds. Referee, KPK. For this hunt, two prospects were hitting the trail to get the job done. At the scale, DBDK's Yo-Yo, 30.0 pounds. RABK's Prospect, 30.2 pounds. The contract breach by RABK was overlooked and the hunt was on. From the release, both dogs met their badger in the middle with Yo-Yo all over her badger hitting it up in any place left open, while RABK was off to an early defense trying to keep her badger out during a vicious attack. Yo-Yo continued to dominate on the hunt tackling her boar in the chest, throat, and back end while RABK was having a more difficult time on the trail but managed to get in some footholds on her badger. Yo-Yo was showing good strength and finishing ability on the trail causing visible damage all about her badger's bodyguards. RABK on the other side of the trail was still being outdone by her badger and slowing down. At the 19 minute mark the RAB team threw in the towel and completed a very game courtesy. Winner. DBDK's Yo-Yo, one-time winner in 19 minutes. Show number 7. UK's Corona vs ARNK's Black Gill, females, set at 36 pounds. Referee, BMK. For this hunt, two prospects were hitting the trail to get the job done. At the scale, UK's Corona, 35.4 pounds. ARNK's Black Gill, 35.5 pounds. Both hunters met the contracted weight. From the release, both hunters met their hog in the middle with Black Gill showing early dominance on her badger's front end and legs, while Corona was on the defense trying to keep her badger out. Black Gill caused some quick damage to her boar's front right guard as Corona was still on the defense. It was a tight exchange with Black Gill beating her badger to the holds early out. For the first half of the hunt Black Gill continued to dominate hitting her boar in some very crucial spots. Corona on the other side of the trail continued to show some good defense getting her boar out from the muzzle and bottom jaw, and also getting in a few holds on occasion. The exchange grew even and maintained intensity. For the latter part of the hunt Corona began working her badger on the face much to its displeasure and her catch began going out of hold more often. Black Gill began to slow down on the other side of the trail and a scratch to continue was requested. While the ARNK handler was on the way back to their corner, there was a miscommunication which resulted in the event manager calling off the hunt. Result, no contest. Despite the loss of some very key players in their team, the UK club was becoming a force to be reckoned with in these parts back in the day. Unfortunately, this was the last hunt one of their top men would contest. Heartfelt condolences goes out to all of the listeners that would have lost friends and loved ones over the years. Keep scratching, the fraternity is in your corner. Show number 8. BNSK's Shenzia vs LWK's Baby, Females, set at 44 pounds. Referee, CCK. For this hunt, two prospects were hitting the trail to get the job done. At the scale, BNSK's Shenzia, 42.2 pounds. LWK's Baby, 42.4 pounds. From the release, both hunters met their hog in the middle with an even exchange with Shenzia shooting for her badger's legs and front end and striking on occasion while Baby began with a similar style trying to establish dominance on the trail. Both hunters were being taken off by the muzzle and face and eventually moved to the ear and head to try keeping their boars out. This was the nature of the exchange well into hour and both hounds were showing good strength and conditioning on the trail. Both hunters lost some hardware while wrestling their badger's mouth on the offense. 
The hounds eventually began heating up and the out of hold count was achieved. Baby stood the line on all four leaving Shenzia to end the hunt with an explosive scratch. Winner, BNSK's Shenzia one time winner in 1 hour and 48 minutes. CC case total destruction 1923. BIS, DBDK's Yo-Yo one time winner BIS. GIS, Oaks Taffy one time winner GIS. Thanks to the hunting clubs for providing inspiration for these fictional accounts. Thank you for watching and continue to tune into the Game Dog Caribbean channel. Until next time, the best place to begin is square one, and remember, good dogs are where you find them. Be sure to comment, like and share this video and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post new content.